Well, let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. Take a look at the overall structure and you see three identical loops, each of them intended to create a one hertz oscillator. The only difference between these loops is the rate at which they operate. The first operates at the 40 megahertz clock. This operates twice as fast and this operates four times as slow. But other than that fact, they are all exactly the same. It's pretty simple to create a derived clock. Find your project explorer and start drilling down here a little bit till you get to the 40 megahertz onboard clock. Let's expand that. And you'll see I've earlier created a 10 megahertz and an 80 megahertz derived clock domain. Let's create a new one of those. Right click and choose new FPGA clock domain. You can give it a name up here. And here's where you enter your desired frequency. Let's try 100 kilohertz. You can specify your units here. We see a message that says that the closest desired frequency is about 4.6 megahertz. So the range is actually um, not as broad as what's implied here. Let's do 100 megahertz then. And here you see the details of how that's being created from the parent frequency of 40 megahertz. Once that derived clock has been added to your project, it's very easy then to select that for a particular timed loop. Double click on the configuration node and select your timing source. The one we've just created is the 100 megahertz source and we're all set.